So, hi everyone. My name is Frank, and that's Aaron back there. He's going to join us in a minute. And we're from a company based in New York called BioDigital that does medical simulation. And today we're here to talk about our new health visualization platform, the BioDigital Human. But since we're at a GPU conference, we thought we'd first start by quickly comparing the way 3D media is used in industries you all know very well to the very primitive way that health concepts are still communicated. <clears throat> so first, movies. Through computer graphics, you know, we can envision, our, envision ourselves in these very futuristic worlds. The chart at the bottom shows the increase in the number of 3D equipped theaters in just the last few years. Gaming. We can run around shooting people in very precise models of other countries. This game alone, the Call of Duty series, made over $3 billion. And of course, Google Earth. We can take a virtual walk around remote places like the Colosseum in Rome. But when it comes to something so much more important, like understanding our health, why are we still limited to things like this? Over 80% of all internet users look online for health information. It's one of the top three most common uses of the internet. But what's available to us to learn from? Articles, text, illustration, sometimes video. When you run a Google search on heart attack, here are the four most common references available to you. And the same holds true whether you're looking for information from cancer all the way to something like yoga. So a couple years ago, we saw the HTML5 spec. And more importantly, that we could finally run 3D in a browser with no plugins. So we set out to build a platform that would allow us to put health information within the context of a virtual body. And just last month, we officially launched version one of that platform that we call the BioDigital Human. And now, similar to the way you can use Google Earth to explore our planet, you can use the BioDigital Human to explore a very precise 3D model of the human body. To look inside at not just static anatomy, but also at living functions. So Aaron's going to walk you through some screen captures. The bi-digital human, is comp male and female, is composed of over 5,000 models. It's used by a broad range of people, from high schools, home schools, medical, dental, nursing students, as well as clinicians. It's searchable, and we can also isolate parts of the body for custom views. We can also annotate the anatomy, we can customize it, and we can save it as bookmarks for later use. We can also connect to external data sources like NIH Medline Plus and Wikipedia. We have great dissection tools, so we can understand and look at a single structure systemically, or we can look at the surrounding structures and understand how things work together. Here's the cross-section tool. We can dynamically understand the beating heart. We're looking at healthy heart valves. We're working on over 300 dynamic conditions. We can even zoom into the cellular level to look at a diseased heart. This is coronary artery disease. If this patient doesn't deserve, um, get some treatment, they'll have a heart A cardiologist can explain to a patient why they need to change their diet. Or a farm representative can use it to explain a mechanism of action for a drug. Right now, the heart has an infarction and it's going to go into ventricular fibrillation and then death. <laughs> Understanding difficult topics such as cancer is really important, not just for the patient, but also their families. Here we're watching the progression of cancer from stage one to stage four. It's important not just to understand the condition, but also the treatment options. Here we can interactively create an entire operating room scenario. This is going to be the actual reconstruction of the, of the cancer you just saw. We can go through and look at the tools, or we can actually recreate the procedure step by step. This is use, useful for the physician. It could be useful for a nurse or hospital team, uh, for team training, as well as a device company um, to explain how to implant a device. 
we're not just focusing on the disease. We're also interested in wellness markets. This is reproductive health. We're watching fetal development from uh, conception to full term at 42 weeks. And we can rotate and look at it from any angle. We can modify it to show birthing techniques as well as fertilization techniques. We can recreate any exercise or motion. This is a yoga forward bend. We can look at the muscles and the musculoskeletal system dynamically from any angle and really watch what happens underneath the skin. So this software is now being offered in a SaaS model on our website, biodigitalhuman.com. And the free version is being used by just about anyone that's curious about the human body. And it's now the number one education app in the Google Chrome Store. And as we continue to expand on the, the health conditions, uh, it'll become more and more consumer friendly. The premium version is being used by a range of professionals, from doctors, nursing, med students, dental, uh, even chiropractors and massage and physical therapists. And on the enterprise side, we have interest from both academia, high school all the way up to the graduate level, as well as industry, device clients, pharma, um, hospitals, and even other health information systems. So in summary, um, you know, health really does permeate every part of our life. And it's our hope that by providing an engaging learning environment, one that better resembles life itself, we can really lower the barriers for everyone to understand these important concepts. Thank you. Thanks, guys.